Real nice nickel signal there. 1113 at only three inches. I think that'll definitely be a nickel. Yep, there we go. And that's going to be a buffalo. Twelve forty one at four inches. There it is. It's just going to be a weed, I believe. Yep, wheat penny. Twelve, twelve, another solid nickel signal. There we go. Let's see what this one is. And yet another V nickel. And I found a bunch of those out here. Ten thirty nine, five inches. Thirteen forty five, five inches. Signal jumped a little bit higher there. Fourteen forty six. That's got a silver sound to it. Reading around the uh, silver dime range. Let's see what we got. Damn, boy, I said the wheel. Well, there's a 22 casing, but I know that's not our signal. Reading way too high for that. All right, let's scan it again. Okay, there's our signal right there. Just to the side.
is a silver. <clears throat> it's going to be a barber. <clears throat> get my glasses on, we'll get a date. 1915. No mint mark. I don't want to rub it too much. We'll clean it up and take another look at it later. Oh, 733, 5 inches. 1133, 5 inches. That's right around the Indian range. Or a mini ball, but I haven't found any any of those up here yet. Well, that might be the first one. Yeah, that's definitely a mini ball. So that's a good sign. Hopefully we'll find some more relics. That's a three ringer. 11.46 at two inches. Should be able to pinpoint that. It's right on top of ground, basically. Yep, there we go. Hey, that's a silver quarter. I'll be damned. That's a barber quarter. Wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> Let's see what the date is. 1899. That is awesome. I figured that'd be a clad laying right on top of ground, but everything up here has been pretty shallow. All right. All right, so I just got the barber quarter right there and right next to it. I've got a 1230 signal, which doesn't really read like any, any coin that I know of, except for maybe a trime or something, but highly doubt that. But considering it's right next to that quarter, we'll do a live dig anyway. Now this one's probably right on top of ground too. Let's see. A little bit deeper than the other one. There's something right there. I think that's going to be a token. Yeah, let me get my glasses on here. It's either a token or one of those Chinese, Chinese cash coins. Yeah, that's one. Of, that's going to be one of those really old Chinese cash coins. Not sure which variety, but likely pretty old. There's an eleven thirty-eight at four inches. A couple of different signals here together. I'm only a few feet away from where I just got the uh, barber quarter and the Chinese coin. So maybe you've got a coin spill here that's been spread out a little bit. 
And we do. I see the coin right there. I think that one's just going to be a wheat. Yeah, so that's a wheat penny. Let's see what the other signal is. That one's an 1136, which is in the Indian range. Just below the surface. There we go, I see it. Pretty sure that'll be an Indian. Yeah, that's going to be an Indian head penny. See if we can get a date off of it really quick. like 1880 something <laughs> 1033 at three inches that's reading like a mini ball I doubt that's what it is but we'll give it a look in there oh that's a coin is it an Indian pretty sure that's going to be an Indian we're even a little bit low Could be one of the older ones. Yeah, it's definitely an Indian. Eleven thirty-four, possible Indian head. Very shallow, whatever it is. It is a penny. Yeah, I think that's going to be an Indian. Yep. Let's see if we can get a date. Okay, date should be right in there. like another 1902 I think that's the one I, I think that's what the one I found a minute ago was T 
1034 at 5 inches. 1034 4 inches. That's in the Indian head penny range. A little bit deeper. There it is. Yeah, that's another Indian. Looks like a 1901. There's one hitting just above the nickel range. It is a nickel, it was just reading a little bit high. Let's see, is it an old one? Get my glasses on, I can't really tell what that is. Let's say, looks like a buffalo. Yeah, definitely a buffalo nickel. Ten forty one, twenty forty two, thirteen forty one. That's kind of in the wheat range. Just felt a spider or something crawling on me. I do not like spiders. Holy crap. Alright. Now I'm going to be paranoid that it's on me somewhere. There it is. That's actually a button. Yeah, a little four hole button there. There's one hitting in the silver dime range.
and there it is <clears throat> yeah it's gonna be a mercury dime I don't want to rub on it too much, but I'd like to see a date. Nineteen thirty-eight. Those little bastards are everywhere. Creepy little suckers. I think I've walked into like 10 or 15 webs already. Hitting up around 148 and I can see it sticking out of the ground there. Looks like a bell. No, it's a little cup. It's awful shiny. That could be silver. No, got a hole. Brought it out on the other side, not silver, but still pretty cool. Up at the very top of this hill, at the highest peak, there's this little indention in the ground. And right over here, looks like it could be a cave, or an a small entrance to a possible cave. I'm no aqua chigger, so I'm not going up in there or anything like that, but. I bet you that's an entrance to a cave. There's supposed to be caves up on these hills, for sure. Stick the camera up in there and see if we can see anything. I can't really tell how far that goes back, but pretty neat. Thank mm -hmm. you.